Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11, as you may well know, if you've viewed this channel for some time, has an ongoing list, an increasing list of AR features that have been bundled into the operating system. Especially if you are running a Copilot Plus PC where Windows Search is now full of AR. You've got Recall, which has been a controversial feature, and Click to Do, which is very closely related to Recall. And there are lots of apps that Microsoft is now rolling out that are getting AR features like File Explorer, Snippet Tool, and Paint. Now, in regards to apps, I did post a video a couple of days ago that it seems that Windows 11 25H2 will not release all its new features for everyone unless you have a Copilot Plus PC. And this is especially true with recent app updates, as mentioned in the video, which will be linked. Because in the Canary and the Dev Insider channels, Microsoft is working on new AR features for Paint, Snipping Tool, and Notepad, all legacy components of the operating system. Now, due to online reports and um, feedback hubs and so on, this has been met with a little bit of resistance and a bit of negative feedback um, by users of Windows 11. And some have even referred to these features as bloat and others AR slop, which seems a bit heavy, but nonetheless bloat or AR slop. Now, pers on a personal level, when it comes to using AR, I don't use AR on a personal level. I have no need to. And I very seldom actually use Copilot on Windows 10 or Windows 11. From time to time, I do use Gemini. I prefer it over Copilot. But that's just my personal take on my preferences when it comes to AR. And there's also a good chance that with all the AR that Microsoft is pushing into PCs, to prevent them from slowing down, they've got to have this incredible, fantastic new hardware that is just getting increasingly more powerful to be able to run an operating system with all the AR because on your so-called normal Windows 11, I think if you try to put a lot of the Copilot features into a so-called normal laptop, as an example, I don't think the performance benefit would be too good. I think you would have a bit of a resource drain on your performance. Obviously, this is all hardware dependent, but Copilot Plus PCs do run a lot more hardcore, so to speak, hardware than your normal average PC. Now, this video is actually inspired by an article on Windows Central, which I'll leave linked in the description. But it does make for an interesting read. And they conducted a poll recently saying, do you view AR in Windows 11 as bloat, useful, or a mix of both? And a couple of comments were interesting. So I'm just going to go through some of these comments. And not all of them, just some of them. The first was, I'm just frustrated. I can't use these on my desktop PC. I've been of the mind for months that Copilot plus PC doesn't mean anything for the vast majority of users. I think simply making it easier to disable or remove parts of Windows that you don't want would make a big difference. I totally agree with that one. There's only one AR feature on Windows that I find genuinely useful, recall. Then the opposite, it's interesting because there are several people who feel the exact opposite way about recall. So that's just a couple of comments. There are about 16 or so comments, and that's just to give you a balance. So there are mixed views, as mentioned. Now, Windows 11 is a big operating system. It's quite massive in what it's becoming compared to a Windows 10 operating system, as an example. And it's continuing to, and it's continuing to grow because Microsoft keeps pushing out new features, um, especially with Windows 11 24H2 and Copilot Plus PCs. But according to the article by Windows Central, and I do agree with this, much of Windows 11 remains unused by millions of people. And I actually agree with that. So Microsoft, as they say, is in a tough spot because on one hand, PCs that run Windows are expected to run everything from the most demanding games that are built on cutting edge tech to legacy programs that date back decades. So Microsoft's kind of got to get the balance right here, so to speak. So when a single operating system has to cover that range, I think it is expected that unnecessary features are going to make their way into the actual operating system. So as mentioned in the article, 
Microsoft needs to figure out a balance, and I do agree with that. Because Chromebooks, SteamOS, which is becoming popular, iPads, Linux, and personally, just on a side note, I do most of my day-to-day tasks, not pertaining to this channel, but just my personal day-to-day tasks on a Chromebook. Because, as mentioned, a lot of people want stuff that just works and doesn't have any extra fluff. And that's why I like a Chromebook, because to me, it doesn't have any extra fluff. It just, get, it just gets the job done for what I need it to be. But nonetheless, that's my thoughts. That's also some thoughts taken from that article, which will be linked down below. What are your thoughts? Do you view AI in Windows 11 as bloat, useful, or a mix of both? I'd be interested to hear your comments once again. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.